In the previous video, we saw that the aim of uh, designing a waiting line or a queue is to balance uh, the customer weight and the utilization of the server. Um, so, in order to understand that better, let me introduce a few terminologies in this video. So, the first video, uh, the first terminology is this idea of a line. And uh, all those customers who are waiting to be served, who are not currently being served, are said to be part of the line. And if we expand the line to include the customers who are being served, we have what we call as the system. All right, so customers in line plus the customers being served um, create the system. And the way the metrics are designed, the two metrics that we talked about, the first metric is, of course, about server utilization or how busy the server is. And uh, the next two set of metrics are about the waiting. And here we are primarily concerned with the time it takes for customers to wait because um, customers' satisfaction is directly linked to the time it takes for the customers uh, to wait. And we are also concerned with the length of the line because we will have to design the facility to accommodate customers based on the number of customers that are going to wait. So from the customer wait end, we have two important metrics, the time in line and uh, the number in line. And uh, using these two metrics, uh, we design uh, the queuing system or the waiting line system that fits with our business policy.